sequence X, Y, Z with Lakshman Joseph Serum. We talked to him all about his third child. There's Suhanya, there's Aran, and now it's a third child. How many years old is, uh, is a third child? Ten years old. Third child? Yeah, oh, okay. ten years old. Uh, five years after your son was born. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So, the Chamber Music Society of Colombia. Yeah. Yeah. Tell well, us about well, it. Geez. Well, actually, it started in this, in this space, you know, where we used to get together. Who is the uh, we? We were uh, musicians, friends of mine. Uh, some of them are not here. Uh, on a Thursday, including Professor Valentine Basnaika and, and people like that, and we used to have this little soiree, yeah. Uh, talk about music, play music, listen to music, argue about music. And then that morphed into um, what we now know as the, the most uh, amazing classical music organization in this country. So what have been the major highs of the Chamber Music Society of Colombo? Too, too many to mention. We've set, we've set amazing benchmarks. We, says we, you or says the audience? Says the audience, say the critics, say our so-called uh, competitors or, you know, oh. people. Yeah, because, I mean, uh, if, you, if you look at, uh, if you just look at the timeline, um, we've set the pace. Uh, we have, we're the ones who uh, pioneered long-term uh, arts patronage sponsorship, um, and and this is just the beginning. I mean, I mean, I, I envision a time where uh, I'm going to be nowhere around, and this organisation is is going to be top-notch, on par with anything in Singapore, on par with anything in, I hope in Asia. Well, maybe in Asia. You stick to a particular genre of music, or do you go vertical? No, I I stick to a particular genre of music is because that's all we can do. If we had 114 top-notch professional musicians, we would not be doing Vivaldi, Concerto Grossi. We would be doing Bruckner and Mahler. But the most important thing, you know, how we got about this is what do we have at hand, right? So uh, use an analogy. What do you have in your larder? You have two eggs and some flour, and then we decide to make a love cake. What is that love cake going to taste like? Ghastly, right? So we'll, we'll look at what we can do with that one egg and, a, and some moth-eaten flour and come up with the best thing possible. That's how we do it. So aren't you going to get more players? Well, uh, yeah. do, you have a, do you have a limit or can anyone just you know, audition and, and, and be a part of it? No, we don't have an audition process it, it, formally. Yeah, it's an invitation and it's, it's a like-mindedness that we, 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 we need to like each other on top of you being somewhat proficient in what you do. Um, nasty question. Yeah. Are you a snob niche group? We didn't intend to be. I said that's because, yeah, we don't. We didn't intend to be snobbish. Like I think most people don't intend to be uh, uh, simplistic, or I, I, you know, we don't intend. But 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 if you see it and you call it like it is. So people say we are elitist. We are snobbish. We're that. But so not. be it. Well, I I don't care. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah yeah. I'm I'm personally I could yeah. care less. If you call us Godet, fine, no problem. Uh, I'll take that as well. So you are the godfather of this ensemble? Uh, well, well I, was, I, was the one, of, I, I was the one who, who, who started it, yeah. So ultimately, the responsibility, at least for now, it, it ends with me. I don't intend it to be that way. What are the concerts in the pipeline in the well, next next so minimum eighteen months or twelve months? Whoa, right. Some huge uh, ones coming. Yeah, up. yeah. Was, we've we've got a massive concert, and we are presenting Midori, the the, the great the great Midori, uh, on the on, on in September. Uh, that 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 concert is going to inaugurate an education fund of ours, that hopefully, will select, an exceptionally gifted musician and we give that person a scholarship to study somewhere outside. Um, and then uh, we, have, um, uh, we have the 250 Beethoven concert. And we're when incredibly, is that? that's and in July, that? July 2020. We don't quite know where yet. Uh, I mean, the Lionel Went is the default okay. place. What's uh, the repertoire, anything well, planned it'll be, uh, Obviously, it'll be all Beethoven. 
and Rohan De Silva will be playing. Oh, uh, lovely. Yeah, and... Rohan is also a guest on this show whenever he decides to come back. Yeah, to he Club should. Of I'm waiting for him as well. Yeah, yeah he, he'll be here soon. <laughs> so I got one more to go for him. Yeah. And, and that concert will be conducted by Leslie Sugananda Raja, who is, uh, uh, who is the music director or the Kapilmeister of the Salzburg State Theatre. He was born in Jaffna. And he's he's yeah, an lovely. amazing amazing guy. He's, he's he's the top top position in Salzburg, the birthplace of Mozart. Sure. Yeah. And so we are very very lucky and we're very proud to be able to have him and and work with him. And I'm sure he will be a massive uh, let's say a push to elevate us for the future. Lakshman Joseph, the serum as the violinist. Mm. Tortuous. So I, I, I don't. Yeah. Obviously. So yeah. Uh, yeah. Inflicted. I mean, I do, yeah. It, 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 I do it because I absolutely have to. I, Why do uh, you have to absolutely? No, uh, because I mean, uh, we are few and far between in the orchestra. I don't play for yeah. myself. I, yeah. I, I, I don't like. I just don't because I'm not good enough. That's 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 what it I is. I beg your pardon. No, no, I am not good enough. I, I wouldn't listen to myself play. I wouldn't go out and listen to myself play. Uh, there are there are thousands of other people. You who are your are. harshest critic. I uh, well, you know, it's it's pretty simple. I mean, I'm I I just don't have the discipline. I probably had the discipline which was enforced when I was 13 years old when I did a, a recording that impressed Eric Friedman, who was a Heifetzel student, who actually told me to come over at that time and, and, and learn with him. At that time, yes. I mean, I'm nowhere close to that now. You know? But one, one matures with age, one kind of ripens yeah, with age. I, I, I suppose I can it's turn obvious, a phrase uh, in, a, in a more sophisticated matter, uh, manner now, but I just don't have the discipline to go into a, a room lock myself up and four, year, four, day, four hours um, and spend four hours there practicing one that page. That was my next question, practice. Yeah, practice, I don't do that. I, do, I, 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 I should do way more. Maybe, but you don't fake it either on stage. No, 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 I don't fake it, certainly not. I, certainly not. And, and, and also orchestral music is different to playing, let's say, a Bach uh, partita, yeah, which is, just, yeah. So I, I stick to orchestral music and that I practice. Because you know you have to, it's you have to be. Yeah, you, you just respect your partners around you, and if uh, so, you, solos you know, are not your forte. No, no way, never, never. I gave that up when I was fourteen or fifteen. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and I'm glad. That's probably the best thing I did. Yeah. See, playing mm. your lead violin. Yeah. Uh, some really excruciating moment in that piece of music, and your 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 string snaps. <laughs> yeah, it has the happened. Whole thing collapses. Yeah. What do you do? Uh, or has it happened to you? Yeah, it has happened to me, but the whole thing did not collapse because we have contingency plans. We know what someone fixes. Yeah, well, there, there, there could be also an extra violin somewhere around. Because we have just four first violins, sometimes mm. five. So it's not like I can take the assistant concertmaster's fiddle. Okay. Because then, then it's like a four engine plane and all of a sudden it has three. Yeah. And it's not good for the audience. So we usually have a spare violin lying around somewhere okay. on the stage. Okay. And, and so there's a, there's a very brief hiccup. It is never really, the audience is never known. And, and that's how we do it. It, it can happen. Happens to the best. Is it every violinist's dream to own a study various? Oh, absolutely. Oh, my God. You also own one? <laughs> uh, no, I don't even come close to owning anything How much remotely. Is the well, I mean, uh, you're Average probably uh, three billion rupees, maybe, maybe, you, if you're lucky. If you're cool enough to be asked to bid for one. I don't think anyone uh, in this, well, I mean, there are a lot of Chinese who own incredible instruments, but there's, there's, a, there's an audition process in buying an instrument like that. They, they won't sell it to some drug dealer, or, you know, even though you may have the money. So they're, they're, because there's a pedigree of ownership. So you will know in 1810, Napoleon had that instrument. So what if I so, buy it by proxy? I'm oh, a yeah, drug you could. dealer. Yeah, yeah, you, you could. Uh, you're my friend? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you could, but you know, chances are, if you're a drug dealer, you're not even going to know about this stuff. Have you held a Stradivarius? I have held a Guarneri, uh, about okay. three, which is Stradivari's student. 
And what what did you feel? I have played a, how, how, a how scale. Oh, about three hundred years old. Uh, the, the the value would be would be all the real estate on the street, maybe, and then some. Uh, it was it was an amazing feeling, you know, it was because I like uh, instruments, and so it was a, a, an added benefit because I was holding I was holding history, and I think that one particular instrument that I was able to hold uh, was once owned by uh, Mozart's son. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it was a, it, it had that extra mm -hmm. little added benefit. Oof. Yeah. On that note of all, I bring sequence X, Y, Z to a close. Oh, Lakshman, thank you so much thank for being you. my guest. Thank uh, you. I last spoke to him, I think, in 2011, yeah. about eight years ago on Prime TV. And that was one long chat. It's mm. been a long time. It's been a long time. But we've met each other. Yes. I've oh, become nasty goodness. with age, by the way. Fantastic. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> so thank you so much. All thank, you. You thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Everything about Fit Kumar Silva with my guest today, Lakshman Joseph Dissera. We'll catch you next week, another space, another time on the show. Hey guys, thanks for watching. To keep up with the Pulse of Sri Lanka, subscribe to our channel here. To catch our latest videos, click here and here. Keep living it.